Alrighty, so this is uh, this this doesn't have to do with my schooling, um, but I think because of the uh, the relevance, um, I think just because of the relevance, um, I I probably should. So um, what's in the news is Donald Trump, uh, President Donald Trump, um, former president, his house was raided. Uh, by the FBI and so um, what we have now is a dichotomy of different viewpoints of two different I want to say two primarily different sides um, and they, they they're pointing the finger at each other um, but uh, from what I'm understanding one side is upset that the FBI is being used as a tool to raid the president's home. And that is something that sh is shattering. Um, it scares, it scares them. And on recording, they say you should be scared too. The other side is saying this is not a tool this is how it's done we just gotta go with it and we'll see and the other side is saying well of course that's what you want and that's what the that's that's like pretty much what the argument is between fox news and and everything else um fox news is a, a major mainstream corporation um, around this time in 2022, they, they'll call themselves something else. Uh, they consider CNN, MSNBC, uh, uh, everything that's kind of democratic, they will pull together and say that that's like big media. And then Fox news is, is real news or something. I don't know what, um, but Fox news has a lot of commentary based shows, the Tucker Carlson show that they, they, it's, 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 their names are in the title of the show and their viewers don't realize that they're they're watching a show but this is how this is america um you go outside and and um nobody's happy with the president uh i shouldn't say that people are thankful that it's it's Biden, but nobody is happy and excited. Um, it's, it's not a good time right now. Uh, the economy is pretty bad. Um, the young people can't, are, are, they, they don't have a prospective future. Um, the 40 year olds and the 30 year olds are kind of getting into it because they, uh, the housing crisis and the parents of those generations, um, they're kind of still in power. So they're kind of like, I don't know. They're retiring, and they're uh, they're they're there's there's a lot of them, so they're making decisions. Um, they're they're voting, so it's really bad right now. Uh, people in my parents' generation, I think, are the ones that are most homeless. Um, the people in my generation, uh, I feel like, are are getting there. They're they're. Uh, uh, their drug use is functional and then the people underneath everybody else who's younger it's kind of funny that they just they kind of just sit back and watch um, we've kind of raised them to be observers I don't know but uh, I think what terrifies me most is that the, there's a lot of there's a lot of people older than me that um, have a lot of distrust and it's like it's the this this distrust uh extends further than like uh, okay uh it feels like now people can't even trust their own family um uh, they, they like just even with like with the trump thing when when trump was big 
that was tearing families apart. You had children not agreeing with their parents. You had brothers not agreeing with their sisters. You had craziness going on. Um, and then now it's like major distrust. Um, but one thing I do want to make clear um, raids usually have guns drawn so yeah the, the FBI did search the house um, they they raided they, they came in with, with cars they had guns in the cars but they didn't breach the door they didn't um, point guns in anybody's faces um I mean, I've, I've done the Marines. Uh, I've been in a police raid. That wasn't very fun. Uh, police now, I'm going to speak on that. The police now, uh, they're more militaristic than the military. In the military, you know that this is peacetime. Um, but here in the police, again, this distrust extends. I feel like people can't even look at themselves in the mirror. Um... it's it's uh, kind of irritating because i i can't even hold a conversation with somebody without feeling uh their insecurity or something like that i don't know i don't know if other people feel that but um yeah i'm not if i don't i won't keep up the conversation i'll literally just turn around but no it's getting it's getting nuts it's getting nuts um, I recently watched the Nuremberg Trials. When each of the defendants came up to testify uh, and speak their own truths, they pretty much said, we didn't know. So when they were like, okay, well, did you know that Hitler installed these camps and that you were going to be the leader of these camps? And they would be like, no, we never had this plan. He just made me. And they're like, okay, well, what about the gas chambers? I don't know anything about that. And that was their that was their question every single time. Rudy Giuliani took down the five families of New York. You're telling me he, he doesn't know anything about their playbook? Um I think recently the Trump uh, tax records were released and then he didn't pay any taxes. Um, person to person, I would say congratulations. I think taxes are one of those things that should be like kind of gone. Um, we should figure out like another way of, of doing it. I, I just, I think the way we do taxes is not, um, definitely not efficient. Uh, the hiring of a hundred thousand IRS agents that that's a lot of money um but what were those people doing before like I don't know where the where the salary comes in um yeah no it's just uh I guess it does i I could see the point of Fox because biden hasn't is not doing anything um I feel like prices are only going up. Uh, like gas went down a little. But I just walked into a grocery store and um, the regular size candy bars are $3. A month ago, they were $1.25. Uh, I do feel like they're using it as a toy. But it's because I feel like the people who are in charge are incompetent. Uh, I think we, for a long time we've had uh, people who are, are 
we've held uh, for whatever reason uh we think we, we we think exposure to the experience is worth more than a novel uh approach and um sometimes that's not always the case you know some that that's that's definitely actually not all that's never the case that that can't be the case uh if if, if that if that were the case um we would have figured out how to not die um It, that, that I think that's the point. That's the point of life. The point of life is to con continue with this change. You know, um, if if you aren't aware, the the Earth rotates and the Sun goes that way and the Moon. You know, so uh, I don't know what's going on. I think people just need to take a take a break and uh, walk outside. Uh, take a look at the trees and eat some grapes because it is absolutely fucking nuts the arguments that we're hearing and I'm actually getting tired of the people on TV the news anchors the anchors themselves I feel like they're act they, they become actors they all talk the same all of them all report the news the same and it's like when um when i shop when i do my working um I, I i shop for work um i i hear conversations right and so like one of the the main conversations is or a bland uh bland little little thing is is like how are you today and um the common response right is good um which is not always the case there's there's usually some something has to be wrong um otherwise you might be in home at bed um in ecstasy you know you might be be chilling that that's um just natural 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 ecstasy um but no we're, we're you know out and about doing something so that question and that common reply, I feel like, uh, can be used as a generalization of how uh, America is, because um, we're not good. We're not. Uh, it's not hard to. Uh, It's not hard to be nice to people, especially when they have different viewpoints. Uh, it can be hard. But for a person who is blind, 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 um, they don't have a choice in the matter of, of um, their preference of who to speak to whether they're tall or short, fat or skinny. Um, so, there's just a lot of different ways to approach things and I feel like the, 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 the routine that people have kind of gotten into is just, is not it, fam, you know? Because uh, it's actually really scary. All these adults are, are tripping and freaking out. You got people, grown ass men and women with guns uh, going to the FBI offices. You remember when our recruiter, our military recruiters were getting shot up?
more children die in schools than cops on the job a year. More children die in schools than um, people in the military actively serving. I don't know about suicides. Suicide rate for veterans is extremely high. Um, the mental health of of a good portion of the general public is um, undiagnosed, misdiagnosed, untreated, and so with that, they become a burden, or they burden themselves with homelessness. Um, you could see it that way. They're not a burden. What I meant by the first statement was uh, they become a burden when they take resources. For instance, I saw the other day the entire situation is a burden. Two police officers came in. I don't know if they were harassing the man at the bus stop, but I'm assuming it was because he was trying to sleep at the bus stop. And, um, you know, it's the it's ongoing. And so they were there with the flashlights on. And I know for for from personal experience, when you're talking to somebody and they're within a regular conversation and they have the flashlight on your face or on your chest, guilty until proven innocent. That, that's all I'm going to say. Um, it's not a good feeling. Um, and the fact that only a certain demographic race does it, only a certain race is uh, employed, it just fuels the frustration because they um, they continue to to they just continue this shit. They get paid really good money. Um, they don't need to. They don't. They don't need to make anybody's day any any harder than what it needs to be. <sighs> Honestly, I don't think anybody has the intention of making it difficult. I think sometimes you could you could run into somebody who's gonna make it bad. Um, I shared, I think, in my first video that I was assaulted. I told them to have a good day, and I mean, they still chose to to sucker punch me and, and kick me while I was down and kick my face into the curb. So as much as stuff like that can happen, I think for the most part, everybody just wants to go home and go to sleep at the end of the night with the full tummy. Um, it's not too much to ask for. And as Americans, I think we need to do better. Uh, especially amongst each other because this whole fucking I don't understand when people um, just don't get it about anything about what well, like, you know just they're just I don't know how they approach things that's just not how I do it so I don't know how but um, we'll take, for instance, uh, African-American history, where for the, the founding of this country, they were slaves. And then for a long period of time, they were treated horribly, um, all of them. Uh, publicly, they were lynched. The entire town would go and lynch a group of them, uh, and I and I say this like uh, just because I I don't want to get emotional. It's it's disturbing and it's disgusting. Uh, even the the Salem witch trials, you know, it's it's a disturbing history, and it it's repeating itself um, in different ways. It's manifesting in different ways and. Um, you know, I mentioned the Nuremberg trials and how all those leaders, all those commanders and SS agents, they basically said, I didn't know at the end of it. They pled the fifth.
When does the lie stop? I feel like you could choose to listen to it. So I've actually been listening to um, Pop Poncho. He is uh, really awesome. So shout out to Pop Poncho. Um, and music. But, um, yeah, no, just trying to listen to the news just to get, like, caught up on events and stuff is, like, just disturbing because of all these adults and then, like, going out and hearing these conversations amongst each, everybody else is um, disturbing, too. And I went to the bar the other day and hearing those kind of conversations. People have fun, and it, it, it wasn't, it didn't sound like fun. It sounded like Tinder swiping in person. I don't know. Weird. Weird. But, um, I don't know. All I know is, uh, I did my run today that I usually do. It's like a mile and a half. And I did it nonstop the first time, and I stopped halfway through the second time. And I only do it once. So, my running is getting better. I've been kind of lazy since I got out. But, all right, that's it. Peace.